Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the fifth episode of this deep learning with PyTorch series. So uh, in this video, what we will do is we will do the linear regression implementation from scratch. So in the last uh, last few uh, videos, I have gone through like how to do the or how to understand the math behind the linear regression, right? Like how the gradient descent works, how we are doing the weight updates. And once we do the weight updates after several iterations, we get the optimal weights through which we will find the best fit line, right? So in this video, we will try to do the implementation using uh, plain Python using NumPy and Pandas. OK. So let's get started. So before uh, going ahead with the NumPy implementation or the uh, Python implementation of linear regression, let's understand what this uh, dot product is, right? So dot product, you will see dot products dot product is very much used in case of linear regression and logistic regression. If you want to implement using uh, very basics, uh, basic of Python, instead of using a scikit uh, learn library if you want to do it from scratch you need to know the concept of dot product and also once you will start learning about uh, deep learning you will see like dot product is like one of the key concept which you should be very much aware of so some of the examples which you see here so this is how the dot product wo works so there is it, it is like you are doing element mu element wise multiplication then you are doing a sum right so a will be multiplied with x then B will be multiplied with Y and you will do a sum. Similarly, you will like if the you are doing a dot product between a matrix and with a vector, right? So you will get this. So this is how the uh, dot product is basically working, right? So if I try to do it using NumPy, right? So in NumPy, like we have, uh, like I have defined two vectors right x and y which is kind of a one dimensional or 1d numpy arrays and if i want to do a, a dot product between them so what will happen is uh, we will use this np dot np dot dot function and that will do the dot product between x and y right so uh, you'll see like this is the output of this dot product so dot product between the two uh, vectors are giving you a one scalar quantity and uh, as i mentioned like it's nothing but the element wise multiplication then some of those element wise uh, multiplicative uh, outputs right so if you do this like two will be multiplied with three then four will be multiplied by five and six will be multiplied by seven right and then we will do the sum so we are getting the same output so this is how the dot product works right now if you are doing with uh, uh, multiple uh, multi-dimensional array right or uh, 2d array which we are using here right so let's first define that and, and check the shape of this so it has uh, the x the shape of x is 2 comma 3 that means like there are uh, two rows and three columns so similarly it has the same shape for y right and now if i want to if i want to do the dot product between them now let's try and let's try to do this right so you'll see that it's throwing an error right it's throwing an error saying that uh, uh, like the, the dim inner dimensions are not aligned right so what we need to do is uh, we need to do the dot product after changing the after matching the inner dimensions, right? So if I just change the shape of this, like it will become three comma two, right? Now if I check my check the shape of my x variable, you will see it is two comma three, right? So the inner dimensions is like three, and here also the inner dimension is uh, three, right? So these dimensions are matching. So now you can do a dot product, right? So if I uh, do a dot product after taking the transpose of this y variable, then you will see we are getting an output, right? So uh, I hope this is clear. Now let's move ahead and uh, let's do the uh, linear regression from scratch. So these are the few things which I wanted to just uh, recollect from my last session for you all. Uh, like the basic steps of linear regression, right? So we uh, start with the initialization of weights and biases. Then uh, given an input, we will make predictions, which is nothing but y hat, and then we will calculate the error. 
and calculate derivatives and use it. Once we calculate the derivatives, we will use gradient descent to update the weights, right? And we will kind of repeat this step until and uh, unless like error is reduced to a satisfactory level or we are uh, done with certain number of predefined steps, right? And uh, how we are doing the weight update is, is it's like W equals to uh, W minus learning rate times your DW, right? So this is the uh, where we need to calculate the derivatives, which are like DW and DB, right? So uh, uh, I also mentioned in the last session, like how we can calculate uh, this values, right? DW and DB. So these are the formulas which we derived in the last session and these two things we will use in our uh, linear regression from scratch implementation, right? So we will use these two equations uh, inside our code to do the linear regression implementation. So first, uh, let's define uh, this uh, a function which will calculate the MSC value, right? Mean squared error. Right, so it's like we are calculating the difference between y pred and y. Then we are uh, doing a square on top of that, and then we we are calculating the mean value out of all the training examples. Right. So once we define that, now then let's come to the linear regression uh, class. So what I am doing here is I am creating a class. So class is starting with a init function where I am defining a default value for my learning rate and how many number of iterations I will do by default if we are not passing uh, any fixed value to this linear regression uh, while creating an object of this linear regression class, right? So, so I'm just initializing these things here. And once that is done, uh, I am I am just defining another fit function. So this fit function where all these operations which are uh, mentioned here, right? Like uh, initialization of weight, making predictions, calculating the error, then calculating the derivative and also the weight updates, right? So all these steps will happen inside this fit function, right? So in, in sklearn, if you are aware of the sklearn implementations, so sklearn also we kind of pass the training data uh, using a dot fit method and with that we kind of train our uh, algorithm using scikit-learn, right? So what we are first doing is we are just uh, calculating or we are kind of inferring the uh, number of rows here or the number of training examples we have here and also the number of features, right? So once we uh, get, we will get that from my X variable, which we are passing to this fit function here. And uh, then we will do the weight initialization, right? So I am creating a, a NumPy array of zeros and how many weights we will calculate that will depend on the number of features, right? So it's like we will have uh, one weight for one feature, right? So how many number of features are there? That many number of weights we will calculate and bias we can straight away initialize with zero so there will be a, a only one bias to this uh, model right so and then then we will do the gradient descent iteration so in this what we are doing is uh, based on the number of iterations which i am which is kind of initialized in this class so we will do that many number of iterations so inside this iteration at first i am calculating the y hat right so here the dot product is happening which is like uh, like y x what we are doing is this is the dot product right uh, w multiplied by x right dot product between the x and w right then we are adding the bias to it once the bias is added then we get the output value or the prediction which is y hat now in between what i am checking is if my iterations iteration values are multiple of 100 then only i am checking what is my mean squared error right so here we are doing 100 iterations so for every uh, sorry 1000 iterations so every for every 100 iteration we will kind of output the mean square error and uh, we will kind of uh, we wanted to check like if every 100 iteration my loss is getting decreased or not right OK, then what we are doing is we are calculating the derivatives, right? So this is the same formula which is mentioned here. We are calculating the derivatives uh, using that formula. So one by N multiplied by uh, we are doing a dot product between 
X transpose with Y hat minus Y, right? Which is here X is kind of we are doing a dot product of X. And we are doing it with a difference of Y hat minus Y I, right? So that the same thing which we are doing here also. And just to match the dimension which I previously talked about, so we are doing a transpose of X, right? So this dot product will do the sum itself. So as I mentioned, like dot product is nothing but element wise uh, multiplication, then the sum, right? So it will take care of the summation sign which we have here. Then for uh, WB, we are just uh, calculating the difference between Y hat and Y, and then we are doing an NP dot sum, which will uh, calculate the uh, this portion, right? Uh, which is like summation of y hat minus y i. Then we are dividing each of the uh, term with one by n. And then we are doing a weight update, right? So the weight update is happening like this. So just to give an example or uh, what is going uh, in this function, in this process is like we have a previous iteration value of w, right? So using that, uh, we are calculating the derivative, then we are multiplying the derivative with the learning rate, and we are getting a new value of W, right? Or new value of uh, bias, right? So that this is where the weight updates are happening, right? Then what we are doing is we are also creating a function which is like predict function where uh, using the optimal weights and uh, bias, we will make predictions, and the predictions will be y pred and that value will be returned from this predict function, right? So this predict function will be called after doing the fit function. So in the fit function, we will calculate the optimal values of my weights and bias. Once that is being done, then we will make inference using this predict function, right? So here using a simple uh, scikit-learn data set, I'm creating a dummy data. And I'm doing a train test split, as I mentioned, like we generally do, we generally fit our model using the training data set and we make predictions using the test data set, right? Then I'm creating an object of my linear regression class and here I'm passing the learning rate as uh, 0.001, right? So let's run these two things. Okay, once this is done at first, I will call this dot fit method, right? So and in this fit method while I'm calling, I'm passing my training data set, right? Which is X train and Y train, right? So this will do the model fit. So it will calculate the optimal values of my W and B. Once that is done, then we, I will start making predictions on my test data set, right? So you'll see um, this is like the print from uh, this section, right? So which is like every 100 iteration, I'm checking my how the weight, uh, sorry, how the loss is getting reduced, right? So starting from zero iteration, you will see like uh, till 900 iteration, the loss has decreased from starting. It started around with 2K value. Now it is around 772, right? So once that is done, then we can calculate the mean squared error on top of my test data set. So this is the final mean squared error uh, in my test data set, right? Then let's uh, plot the data set along with the best fit line. The it might not be the best fit line. You can do better by doing more iterations or by changing the learning rate values. So that I can that you can try it out and uh, you can improve this uh, mean squared error on the test set. So yeah, let's plot this uh, two things. So these are the points which you see. Those are my uh, training data set, X train and Y train values. So for every X train, there is a Y train. So that I am doing a scatter plot. Then using my uh, predictions right on the test data set, uh, I am just uh, creating a best fit line here, right? So that is being shown here. And yeah, so this is how you can do a, a very basic implementation of uh, linear regression from scratch. So all the concepts which I mentioned here in this video will be very much useful once you uh, go to the world of deep learning, right? How this gradient descent is working and how we can uh, terminate a gradient descent, how the weight update is happening. If I if you can run this code by your, yourself, you will get a lot of confidence and the understanding what is going on behind the scene. Right. 
so the link to this code i will i will give a dis, uh, i will give in the description of this video so i hope uh, you like this video and it was useful yeah and uh, yeah so that's all we uh, that's that's all i have in this video so let's get started with logistic regression in the uh, next episode thanks for your time